Hello everyone, this is Dr. Juwan. I'm just continuing my series on prolactin. Is it a friend or a foe? Now, the question I get a lot of is the orgasm. Should I, how, do, how does it affect the male body? Is masturbation, intercourse, what, what gives and what takes? How often? Now, there is a formula that I saw a long time ago and that is take your age, minus four, divided by seven. So that answer should be the minimal amount of days that you should be ejaculating. Now with Chinese medicine, it ties into the kidney chi. So the more the man orgasm, it actually depletes your kidney chi, which actually steals your energy away. So this is how it also ties into the dopamine system. So watch the video, thank you. Hi there, I'm Dr. Juwad, a chiropractor and a functional medicine specialist. Functional medicine is a science and practice of restoring health and reversing chronic health problems. I use specialized laboratory testing, not offered by traditional doctors, to discover the underlying cause of your current condition to create your individual healthcare plan. I do not look for the what that is causing your issues, I look for the why that is causing your chronic illnesses. So work with me and get the professional help you deserve to begin feeling yourself again. Click on the link below to schedule your free 15-minute consultation. We can talk over the phone, face-to-face, -face, or over Zoom. Thank you very much and have a great day. I don't, I'm not on medications. I'm not taking antidepressants, antipsychotics, none of that. I don't have any tumors or anything like that. I have high prolactin levels. What are those causes? The other causes. Believe it or not, again, orgasm. So every time a man has an orgasm, what happens? Dopamine lowers, prolactin increases. When he has intercourse with a partner, it's going to increase for up to 400%. Why? Because it pairs up with this bonding hormone called oxytocin. Oxytocin, women love oxytocin. That's the, that's the cuddling hormone, that's the bonding hormone, that's the hand-hugging hormone. Now with females, oxytocin is released within 20 seconds. Oxytocin increases estrogen in the females. It makes them feel great. It bonds them or it bleeds over to prolactin, which increases the milk production in the mammary glands while they're breastfeeding. It's the bonding hormone. In males, it takes 40 seconds to release oxytocin. Now, again, males, we're not huggers. So how long is the average male hug? Two pats? <laughs> Maybe three pats because it's your grandfather. We're not used to doing all that hugging stuff. It's just not in our nature. It, it's 40 seconds of pure torture. However, in order to bond with the mate, what do we do? We hold hands. We spend time. We touch. And so forth and so on. <clears throat> so that releases oxytocin in the males, which what that does, that lowers dopamine, which increases prolactin. Because when it comes to mating, you know, the female wants the male to be more tame. Every female loves the bad boy, but that's not prime material for procreation. So this is what happens. Again, it lowers your dopamine, it, which creates a stabilization because one of the things that oxytocin does to the man, it releases antidiuretic hormone, vasopressin, which lowers our blood pressure. This is why, hey, the old phrase, big bad Bill is sweet William now. Also, things that increase oxytocin release is tears, grief, sadness, stress, sad movies, sad movies, forget about it. The notebook, forget about it. Okay, again, what it does, increase prolactin levels, which helps modulate stress. So other causes, estrogen, estradiol, E2. Now, estradiol E2, what that does, if men have too much estrogen in their system, now again, estrogen is good for men. E2 is good for males, okay? Now what happens if you have too much E2, estradiol, it too, it inhibits dopamine, which will increase prolactin. In addition, blood tests. Now when it comes to blood tests, I always say this, it's, you have to be very careful. When it comes to blood work, be very careful on when it's done. Careful about the weekend you have before. Now with blood tests, 
the prolactin levels, they peak between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m. So what you want to do is, if you're going to have a test for prolactin levels, test mid-morning or early afternoon, and it has to be in a fasted state. In addition, no orgasm for at least 24 hours before. Remember, what's the orgasm going to do? It's going to increase your prolactin levels. You're going to have false positives. So stay away from any type of ejaculation, orgasms. I always recommend for 24, the longer the better, 24 to 36 or 48 hours. Now, the goal is to increase doping levels, which in turn will lower prolactin levels. And this could be done through the adrenal system because the adrenal system, that's where dopamine is produced. So the more dopamine that's being produced, it has an inhibitory effect on prolactin. So what's gonna happen if you have lower prolactin? all your sexual functions are going to increase because the main inhibitory effect on testosterone is increased prolactin. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I have the link down below for the next one. Be All good. Right, thank you for watching the video. Most importantly, I hope that you learned something. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button down below and right next to it, the bell notification because when I upload videos like this, you'll be first to be notified. In addition, if you find that this information is valuable, and if you want a free 15-minute consultation, please hit the link down below. It'll take you to my website. Again, we could talk either face-to-face, -face, on Zoom, or on a phone call. Either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Be good.